Um, Liz asked the question, do trans women who are biological males belong in women's spaces? And <laughs> Mindy, you know, is the first one to jump in and say, well, of course they do. Trans women are women. What's the question? And Pearl jumps in and says this. Oh, I, I want to come at this from the um, position of an athlete. Oh, Jesus. Um, so, so I play semi-pro basketball, semi-pro volleyball. So when it comes to like athletic spaces, I don't think that trans women should be allowed into athletic spaces because I don't think it's a fair... Um, I think we, as female athletes, we work so incredibly hard for the little opportunity there is in women's sports. Would this be a like, barrier for like this, There's no barrier. There's less opportunity in some industries. That's, That's what a barrier is. There's less. It's not... No, no, no. It's That's based on the market. Me. Okay, Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's... Okay. So, again, we work very hard for the little opportunity there is in the space because we're not as entertaining as the men. Sorry, we're just not. And so it's like you're going to take the little opportunity that we're given. And the problem is, like, it, we can't compete. We can't. Like, I, I'm six foot. If I go up against a six foot guy and I play basketball with him, he's going to body me. And even what happens if, even if I... Now, what's absolutely astonishing to me about this is that Mindy legitimately thinks that her being disabled is more relevant to the men versus women conversation than Pearl's experience in women's athletics in the men versus women debate, where the differences between men and women couldn't be more important. Pearl goes on to talk about how she played semi-pro sports and that the that despite the fact that she is a six foot tall female and you know, she has all of this experience in these sports. If she were to play against uh, a man of the same height and the same weight and the same experience, he would win, hands down. Um, but then Mindy pipes in with this sarcastic comment, like, why don't you try confidence? And Pearl says, well, confidence isn't going to change my muscle mass, my bone density, or my speed to match that of a male. And I'd like to point out, confidence wouldn't change Pearl's body composition any more than confidence would grow legs for Mindy. So... Not only is that comment completely idiotic, it's almost amusing that the person it came from was Mindy, who has this vested interest in something like confidence being able to change someone's body or abilities. Um, and then Sydney jumps in because Pearl's experiences are being talked down, and this happens. This getting is, personal. I don't want thing, it to though, be personal. A lot personal. of us live in this space where we're told that our sure. opinions don't count because they're not the right kind of opinions. And we're constantly shouted over and talked over regardless of what we look like because there's one group in society that basically takes precedence and it's frustrating. So yeah, of course, it's 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 frustrating because when we try to talk about it, we get shouted down, we get told to be quiet, we we get we get spooked down too as well. So okay, there's hostility there for plenty of women. Let's try to make this an opportunity to speak. You're literally with each a white woman then. from Australia. You live in a bubble and you're pissed that voices that have been silenced forever finally can be heard. So again, where Eli was talking about how fen feminism is about uplifting all women and it's this action that you take, we have a woman who is expressing very real concerns about the threat of women to women's sports as biological women um, who has to deal uh, as biological women who do have to deal with the consequences of the policies promoted by these feminists. The second that a woman, an actual woman born as a woman, says that they disagree with that, we have this sociopathic woman going out of her way to fake laugh so loud that she drowns this other woman out because she disagrees with her. And everyone, and then every one of these so-called feminists who are apparently so interested in elevating women tell her essentially to shut up, that her opinion doesn't matter, that she needs to be quiet. And... <laughs> One final thought. I wanted to add in here, the minute Pearl started talking, Yeldi belittled her perspective with the question, isn't that a barrier? Because at the start of this entire discussion, these women were asked what barriers were holding back women in America today, and none of them could provide an example. Pearl said, it's not a barrier because it's based on the demand in the market. Then Mindy tried to talk over Pearl by laughing and saying, that's exactly what a barrier is, essentially mocking Pearl for not calling it a barrier. And then all of the feminists laughed when Pearl was explaining how this could be become a barrier for women. When Sydney defended Pearl, who was trying to express her concerns as a woman about the impact of allowing men into women's sports, the whole pack of hyenas laughed at Sydney for wanting to hear what another woman had to say. So how can you mock the fact?